Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mission San Francisco de Assis. Okay, we're going to take one finger in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw straight line across, straight line down, straight line across, straight line up to the dot and connect. I come down to about halfway point and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect on the right, and a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect on the left. Right here at this point, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, come up, draw a straight diagonal down on the right. Come to this point right down here, draw a straight diagonal line again on the left and a straight diagonal line down on the right. Go back to the left and connect this with a little straight line on the left and a little straight line on the right. Now this mission is done in the classical style. There's a lot of columns and decorative elements, but fortunately most of it is symmetrical. Whatever I draw on the left, I'm going to draw on the right. But let's start on the center. In the center we're going to draw a rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. On the left hand side I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line, connect. I come on the right hand side, I'm going to do the same thing. Straight line up, curve line over, straight line, connect. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. At the very bottom I draw a straight line across from left to right. In the center I'm going to draw one, two straight lines. Starting on the left, I'm going to fill in that space with little teeny straight lines very close together. On the left, jump over, continue little straight lines, keep going on the right. Okay, I come back to the left and I just add a little straight line in on that side and a little straight line in on the right hand side. Now we're going to make some columns. I do a flat oval one, flat oval two, flat oval three on the left. I start on the right hand side and I'm going to do it again. Flat oval one, flat oval two, flat oval three on the right hand side. Starting back on the left, I draw one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Coming over here on the left, I mean on the right, again, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Now see, some of mine didn't fit, so I jump over and continue the line. In between, if you can fit it, you draw a straight line and then just do a zigzag connect. This is a little decorative element, straight line, zigzag, straight line, zigzag, straight line, zigzag. That's if you have room. If you don't, we'll all live. Okay, now I'm coming down to the bottom and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, in the center and I'm going to draw a straight line connect at the bottom. I'm going to mimic that line so I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down and I'm going to add a straight little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right. I come up to about the center and I draw one, two little straight lines, one, two little straight lines. I fill in the space with straight lines going down on the left, straight lines on the right. Now we're going to draw some more columns. So right underneath here I'm going to draw one, 
two flat ovals, jump over, one, two flat ovals. I start to the left and I start one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, jump over, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Now I'm going to come back to the left and I'm going to connect with a slightly curved line all of those two lines all the way across. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect. I do it the second column, wavy line, if you can fit it, wavy line up, connect. On the right, wavy, wavy line up, wavy line, wavy line, connect. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, connect. And on the right, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to draw a little line out on the left and a little line out on the right. Then I come back on the left and I draw a skinny rectangle, connect. And on the right, skinny rectangle, connect. And then on the left, I'm going to just draw a little straight line out on the left, little straight line out on the right, and draw another straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, connect. Now that I've drawn that, I can come into the center and just draw a series of little straight lines going all the way across. Keep going. This is going to be my stairs all the way across. So you can't fit one. Okay. <clears throat> now I come up to the left hand side and I draw a straight diagonal down to the edge of my paper. I'm going to mimic that line and draw it again. Straight line down. Right about here on the left I put one, two, three straight lines. These are the eaves. One, two, three straight lines. I am going to come right here to this rectangle and I'm going to draw Slightly wavy line over on the left, jump all the way over, slightly wavy, uh, straight line over on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. I'm going to fill that in with one, two, three straight lines. And next to that I'm going to draw a square. I jump over on the right hand side. And right about here, I'm going to draw a straight line out. I'm going to come to this column and draw a straight line out. Then I'm going to draw all the way down, straight line, straight line for a column. Now I can connect these lines. Good. This line right here, we're going to put another straight line. And we're going to fill that in with little straight lines. Then we're going to come up here and fill this section in with little straight lines. And this section with little straight lines. And this section with little straight lines. Okay. I come over to this column right here and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. And a little straight line at the top across. And now I'm going to come right above this part and I'm going to do curve line, curve line, straight line on the left, curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Okay, this one has a lot of things going on. I th oh, I forgot my bells. Straight line, triangle in the center. Straight line, triangle on the right, straight line, triangle on the left. If you can fit it in. If you can't, don't worry. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, because this one is so complicated, we don't have too much to color. We're going to do this cross brown, and we're going to do all of our rooftops brown all the way down here. And this little section over here is also a roof or a tile motif. If you can fit, you can put some little dots of green right here on your bells if you have room. If you don't, 
that's fine and then we're going to use black we're going to color in around our bells black this section black leave everything else alone this center section of our railing this is going to be black our doors are going to be black you don't have to color them real dark this is going to be black this window black over here this window black um, I think that's it. oh this section of the rooftop black and black then <clears throat> if you have gray if you don't it's no big deal we're going to color our stairs gray and our bottom section gray on the left and on the right and finally because it is it looks like it really needs some color we're going to do a blue green turquoise sky okay let's see what it looks like all colored in okay here's mission san francisco desis all colored in and as you can see it's one of the more classically stylistically made missions so take it slow okay bye bye